It's Christmas Eve, which means many people will be eating Christmas cookies and drinking eggnog, and it just happens to be National Eggnog Day. Adrian Ramo, integrative and functional nutritionist from One Bite Wellness, is here with some unique eggnog recipes and even an eggless version of eggnog. So uh, you first have some fun facts about eggnog, so share them away. <laughs> well, it actually comes from posset, which is a Middle English beverage mm -hmm. that was basically heated milk that some people would put an egg into and the word nog comes from noggin which was a wooden mug that they would drink their alcoholic beverages out of interesting Pretty cool and so <laughs> does all eggnog have to have alcohol i mean the stuff no. that we buy at the store and no usually people will add to it I figured it was a little bit too early to start that in the studio. But. Okay, so we're not drinking <laughs> this morning, but we are going to try some delicious recipes. Um, and you brought mm -hmm. two with you, so uh, let's get started. Okay, and eggnog is basically a liquid custard. It's very similar to ice cream. Mm -hmm. So for people who love ice cream, like me, yeah. this is a really good option. So the first one that I made is your kind of traditional eggnog, only I made it dairy-free. So what I did was I used some six eggs from Nest Fresh. I use them because they're non-GMO and free range. And then basically what you do is put three cups of non-dairy milk in there and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a cup of maple syrup. Now you're going to want to put this over a low to medium heat and stir it constantly, whisk it constantly uh, for about 30 minutes or until your thermometer tells you that's about 160 degrees. That way it's food safe. You don't have to worry about salmonella or anything like that. After you're done with that, you're going to let it cool and stick it in the refrigerator for about four hours, and then you can strain it. And then what you'll do after that is put your coconut cream in there. So I use coconut cream and coconut milk, but basically the coconut cream from the coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this. And then you just whip it up. Add it to your eggnog, and then basically you're going to put a little bit of nutmeg to make it a little bit more traditional. You can even add some cocoa or cacao powder. Um, and then for garnish, you can even use peppermint sticks, stick them in there, or fresh mint from your garden. So it's really delicious, and that's uh, what I had last night for dessert. Yeah, really you good. can have it for dessert, <laughs> right? Like a little late night dessert. It's true. You don't want to run this through uh, my fitness pal because it's about 400 calories per uh, cup. So it's quite a bit. the holidays. <laughs> it's okay. It's totally fine. And then you have uh, an eggnog recipe yes. that you use bananas for with. Yes. So I made a vegan version for people who don't do very well with dairy or eggs. Mm -hmm. So it's frozen bananas, which still gives it that creamy texture. You throw the same things in, basically three cups of almond milk. I skipped the maple syrup with this because there's so much natural sweetness from the bananas themselves. And then you would throw in your coconut cream and some nutmeg. And then that's the creamy version down there. It's pretty delicious. I had that for breakfast today. All right, I'm gonna try this out, but I wanna <laughs> ask you, so is the key just to mix it continuously for 30 minutes? I know you mentioned this that. Is that what makes the eggnog, gives it that consistency? Yes, because if you don't watch it and do this consist uh, consistently, you will get a scrambled egg, porridgey looking oh. mixture, which is not what we're going for. So that's really important. <laughs> and you put the whole egg in there? Yeah, okay. I did, yeah. All right, well, we will post these recipes on our website Great. to make it easier for you to find. Hold on, let me try this out. I gotta it's really taste delicious. test it. Okay. <laughs> and then it's super versatile too. You can use it with your coffee. You can use it um, as a French toast dip mm -hmm. or even as a quiche. This so. is so good. So this is the one with the banana. Yeah. This is really delicious. <laughs> I could drink it as a smoothie, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, it's really good. Adrian, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me.